Okay, here we have the tippy top, and it's a spinning top that will invert during its spin. This has been made of metal, been milled very accurate out of metal, but it's a, it's a chrome kind of aluminium metal. So here's some bar magnets, just bring it into shot just so you can see that they are magnetic. The plate's actually a pewter plate, so nothing ferrous about it. No magnets are going to affect this, nor the spinning top. So that's just really to show you that there's nothing going on under the table, nothing other force-wise, and it's just on my wooden dining room table. Okay, I've actually drawn, with a black marker pen, a single arrow. So that's because I'm going to spin it in a clockwise motion. So I'm holding the stem, it's got a knurled metal top, just give me some grip. And when I spin it, I'm going to spin it clockwise. And I'm just spinning it very slowly at the moment, because as you can see, it quite quickly goes a little bit eccentric and has a wobble. And that's because the tippy top's characteristic, the way it's been built, is that the centre of its mass and the geometrical center do not coincide. And that actually slightly erratic motion when I do it much faster, and again, this isn't particularly fast, but you can see that kind of wobble already occurring. That is what allows this spinning top to invert. So I'm gonna do it properly fast now so you can see what happens. And you'll see that actually, when it's very, very fast, you can see there the actual tippy top being sliding all of the surface in its circle around its rotational axis is actually where it gets the friction to then drive the top around and it gives it the actual torque force needed to actually invert the top and eventually it will of course run out and it's running out of all the spinning energy sufficient such that it um, comes back to rest and absolutely it's not going to balance on the stalk and it comes back to rest on the main bulb of the top itself. I'm going to do this a, this a few times, I'm going to try and do this zoomed in so I've got my camera running at a higher rate frame per second, so it's running at 50 frames per second, so hopefully you can also see the arrow and the spin take place. Let's see if I get a good one. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus, that wasn't too bad. So that's quite neat and tidy. I'm going to do one more, of course, just to uh, make sure that all that's in order and you can see the actual invert motion going on. But it doesn't matter whether it hits the side, I've purely got it on this dish, this pewter dish, both because it's metal but not magnetic so that you can tell from the magnets that there's nothing going on and because the size is reasonable sized for it to all stay in shots and of course you can just on a wooden floor wooden table it doesn't matter it doesn't matter about the surface um, as long as there's some grip and it's reasonably hard then this works and you can get these in plastic as well as this slightly more fancy uh, metal chrome that we've got here going on there so hopefully you've uh, had some fun and enjoyment looking at this tippy top and its inverting spin. And we'll put a lot more details in the comment section below the video, because I think if you're interested like me in these kind of things, you want to know more. And there's a very good website, both where I bought this and uh, the information regarding its history and uh, the physics and science behind this very intriguing inverting spinning top. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please feel free to like, subscribe and comment.